Hello guys, my name is Kyle Diamond, welcome to my MMA channel, um, of course the channel at the moment is all about UFC London, so check out my other video where I reacted to the first video I made on this channel about my wishes for UFC London, also I'll leave a link in the description to Violent Money TV where I do my interviews, we've had some guys on there um, competing on the actual card like Jai Herbert and Arnold Allen, but also Dan Hardy and John Gooden to give their takes on this fight night, so if you're looking for more stuff out there about UFC London, I got it for you, don't worry about that. Anyway, on with the video. So if you've heard anyone talk about UFC London in recent years, you know what the story is. It gets better and better every year. Um, we had the years where Till was carrying those cards a little bit in terms of the, the bringing eyeballs onto that card. Um, and, and I think it's profited uh, this scene massively. Of course, this time around, it's all about the big man Tom Aspinall in the main event. Um, Dan Hooker versus Arnold Allen, which is an incredible fight. And of course, the homecoming of Paddy the Baddy back on UK shores. Um, but there's tons of great fights on there and the card is nearly entirely stacked with UK talent competing in various weight divisions and stuff like that so there's definitely some stuff you could miss out on um, I should say that the bout order has changed seemingly endlessly um, I've seen two contrasting ones that have both been said of the final bout orders so I'm just going to ignore that. I'd made all my notes before those bout orders. Um, so I originally was going to use this period of time to shout out Paul Craig versus Nikita Krylov, which was on the main card, which was a great fight. Now it looks like that might be on the prelims as well, because I, I tried to just pick prelim fights, but some of them have been moved around. So whatever. These are just five great fights that you should check out. Uh, make sure you don't miss them. Um, but a Paul Craig versus Nikita Krylov is a hell of a fight. So I'll have that one as well. Okay, so I've gone for this one first, um, because I'm sure, not intentional pun, but maybe a little bit, um, that no one is going to sleep on a fight featuring Jack Shaw. Um, but it's on the prelims, and, and so you never know. I've seen a lot of people complaining that it's on the prelims. This kind of stuff happens all the time with UFC cards, so I can't say I'm that surprised. But Jack Shaw... What else can I say about the man at this point? He's 4-0 in the UFC. He's got a style that I think can truly go all the way and compete with the very best in this division. Um, and we need to see him get that top 15 ranking. Uh, Timur Valiev is a very good opponent. He is 2-1 in the UFC, I believe. Um, but his first loss... Um, well, was it two It was two wins and, and, a, and a no contest. But the no con... Was it a no contest? I don't... Let me check that. Okay, Valiev lost his UFC debut, but it was overturned because Trevin Jones tested positive for marijuana. So, it's a loss, if we're being honest. Um, but then he picked up two wins over Martin Day and Holy Barcelos. So, good wins. 18-2 and two for Valiev versus 15-0 for Jack Shaw. It's a mental matchup that you would only get on the prelims of UFC London card. I'm sure people all across the world, after the impact Jack Shaw's had and how many people have taken notice of him, are not going to sleep on this fight. But because it is going to be on the prelims, maybe people will forget about it and stuff, but make sure you don't. Okay, so I've picked Corey McKenna versus Elise Reed for this spot because Molly McCann is also on the card and, and she's very much the, the known quantity in, in, in terms of the female fighters competing from the UK. Um... But Corey McKenna, man, she came to the UFC through Cage Warriors and then the Contender Series, of course. She has a win in the UFC already over Kay Hansen, which I thought was a very, very close fight. But I do rate Kay Hansen, so I wasn't surprised to see it be a close fight. But if you hear people talk about Corey McKenna, there is still so much to come from all accounts. Um, she's fighting Elise Reed, who lost her UFC debut. So there's a chance to gain some real momentum there for Corey McKenna or for Elise Reed to turn it around after her loss to Sajara Eubanks in the first round. Um, so again, bout orders, whatever. I think this one is going to be quite low on the prelims just because Corey McKenna's only fought once in the UFC. Um, but I'm really excited to see how far this Corey McKenna hype train can go. Um, and another win here on UK soil would be a great stepping stone um, for her to get some serious momentum going. Again, this is another one where the bout order really, really messed me up. I did a whole thing about how you should always look at the final prelim of the night, um, the one before the main card. If you're looking at a UFC card, always look at that fight because it's one that the UFC think is going to really set things off ready for the main card. And for people who are maybe debating whether they want to carry on watching, they get that one and they're like, okay, let's go. So, And that's what I think Jai Herbert versus Leah Topura, to, 
Topuria. That's what I think this fight will be. Um, Jai Herbert only fights killers in the UFC. I've been saying it for ages. Uh, he's got two losses to Francisco Trinaldo and Hernando Moicano. Uh, I mean, that says it all, man. Um, but also a great finish over Karma Worthy, which really redeemed him in the UFC. I think he would probably would have been cut 3-0 and in the UFC. Well, 3-0 and being the three losses. I worded that the wrong way around, but you know what I mean. Um, and then he had a fight with Mike Davis, but for this card, who Mike Davis is a very good opponent. We saw him beat Mason Jones not that long ago. Um, but that fight was cancelled. Tapuria stepped in, who has also had a bunch of fights cancelled. People will remember Leah Tapuria um, because he was one of the only people who was willing to step in and fight Ryan Hall and beat him. Um, so shout out to Elia Tapuria, I love him for that. Um, Jai Herbert's fights are always entertaining, especially if you can keep him on the feet and you're just going to get an absolute banger. That is what he guarantees. So don't miss this fight. I have no idea where it's going to be. It looks like it might be opening up the main card now, which is probably an even better spot for it if you ask me. Um, but yeah, don't miss Jai Herbert fights and, and never sleep on his opponents because they're always killers. <laughs> This fight's been moved around all over the place for me. It does not matter. This is, apart from the big names on this card, this is the must-watch one. Um, Mo Mokaev's debut versus Cody Durden. Everyone loves the UFC debut, especially when it's a UK guy in London. It just adds to the excitement. And Mo Mokaev is probably the most anticipated debut we've ever had from this region um of course people will know him from the imaf tournaments where he was undefeated and the pound for pound best <laughs> pound for pound number one in the whole tournament and he stayed there for so long and just demolished everybody he went five and oh fighting in a couple of places i think mostly it was over in brave um which is a very very good promotion signed straight to the ufc called out cody durden who um I'm not going to repeat what he said, but he said some things that were taken not very well after his last fight um, about about his opponent. Um, and immediately, look, Mo Mokayev calls his shots, man. He immediately went after him and said, come and fight me in London for my debut. And Cody Durden does not know what he has signed up for, man. This ain't no regular 5-0 guy. Mo Mokayev has got as much experience in MMA as some of the guys who are fighting on the main card, if not more than some of the guys fighting on the main card, probably more than Tom Aspinall, because Tom Aspinall's fights don't last very long, and finding heavyweight fights in Europe is no easy task, ask Ian Dean. Um, but you've got to check out Mo Mokayev, man. It doesn't matter where he is on the card, make sure you're there for that, because if you see this debut, you will remember it, I promise you, in a few years, when Mo Mokayev is knocking on the doors of UFC Gold to bring it right back home to England. Um, thank you so much for checking out this video, guys. Leave a comment below which fight you're most excited for at UFC London. Did you manage to grab yourself a ticket and get there? Um, I, didn't, I didn't really try this time. I went to the last couple. Um... So I thought I'd just sit back from my sofa and uh, and watch this one unfold. Because there's so many great fights, you know. I just want to kick back and check them all out. So, yeah. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. Leave a like, hit subscribe, because I'll have a bunch of other UFC London content coming your way. And I'll catch you on the next one.